In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and set up a backup domain controller. After you've been adding accounts into Active Directory, creating your whole entire domain, you do not want to lose everything just because of a computer failure. And it's quite easy to set up a backup, and I'll show you here on this particular computer. I've just created another machine, a computer, and I've installed the server operating system on it. The only thing I've done now is just change the name of the computer, SRV2, for my second computer. It's my second server and I've changed my time zone. What I want to also do is work on the networking. So let's go ahead and configure the network and this is going to be important. I'm going to right click, choose properties, turn off version 6 just like I did before and let's go ahead and look at changing the properties for the version 4 protocol. And I'm going to go ahead and now choose to use the following address. I need to take a look at my topology. What I want to do is create a server. I've got my primary server here that we set up. It's already been set up. We've ran the DC promo on the Active Directory domain services. We have a domain running. My last name, not local, is the domain I've created for this one. What I'm now doing on my new computer is I've plugged it back into the switch, internet. I've set it up for that so that they can communicate back and forth between each other. I've named it SRV2. And what I want to do is I'm going to use the version 4 address 192.168. And then the next one in line would be 1.3. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that, set that as my IP address. I'm also going to install the Active Directory Domain Services here, run the DC promo. And we will also have the DNS server running on this computer as well. So let's go back to our machine. And now on the machine, I'm going to go ahead and type in those settings to reflect that topology 192.168. 1.3. That's my IP address for this computer. I'll go ahead and hit tab. Now that's the default subnask. I'm going to go ahead and leave. The default gateway would be 192.168.1. Now if you remember from a previous lesson, we were going to put a router in that's going to be our way out and that address was going to be 1.1. So I'm going to go ahead and set that for now. The DNS server, this is probably one of the more important parts here. Since I have a domain controller set up and I want to join this computer to the domain I need to know the actual IP address of this computer and so we we can see it from our topology it was 192.168.1.2 and that's the IP address of our domain controller or DNS server that we are going to actually use to connect or join to the domain and be a backup of so I'm going to type that one in so it can communicate with it it's kind of an important one to put in there I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and hit close and I'll go ahead and close that in a moment you'll see the new there it is IP address show up and so I'm ready to get going I'm going to go ahead and close the initial configuration tasks and what I'm wait, waiting for is there it is server manager to pop up and we're going to go ahead and go to the roles and add a role and I'll go ahead and hit next now the active directory read domain service this is what I want to actually install so I'll go ahead and click there hit next next and install and it will take a moment here to install this and now that it is installed I'm going to go ahead and hit close I do want to run the DC promo so I'm going to go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and run DC promo and I'll go ahead here's my wizard I'm going to choose next next this time around I'm going to go ahead and choose there, that there is an existing forest already and I do want to add a domain controller to an existing domain. That was the one we set up as our primary domain controller. So that, these are the options I want to choose this time around. I'm going to go ahead and hit next and type in the name of the domain. You don't have to type in .local or .com, just the first part of the domain. I'm going to go ahead and type that in and I need to set the administrative credentials. So I'm going to type in administrator and the password. This is for the domain that you've already set up. So I'll go ahead and type in the administrative account for the pending domain, which is my domain, and then the administrative account's password. I'll hit OK, and now hit Next. If all goes well, you're actually going to see the domain pop up here. Now if you have a failure and it can't communicate, there are several things that could go wrong with this. And you basically are going to want to check, it, check out your IP configuration for both computers. You can run something like an IP config uh, and see what settings you have applied. But if you've been following through the videos exactly, then everything should be set up correctly. We're going to go ahead now and hit next. I'm going to go ahead and hit next again. 
and we do have the option of setting up as a global catalog and DNS server those are the options I do want to have pick now if you want to set it up as a read-only domain controller you can do that however I really want a fully functional domain controller that I can log into and make changes and any change I make on the backup will also be changed to the primary so I'm going to actually leave these two settings selected here and just go ahead and hit next and if we get this no action is required we're just going to go ahead and hit yes for this and we're going to go ahead and hit next and set that password again for those files let's go ahead and type that in there go ahead and hit next next and now it's going to go ahead and install this or promote our computer to the, a fully functioning domain controller I'm going to go to going to go ahead and click on the reboot on completion and we're going to wait for this to happen it's going to go ahead and reboot our server and after it reboots you're going to be brought to the login screen and you'll notice when you do log in here that your domain name is going to be presented first back and then the actual uh, account that's a domain account and we're going to go ahead and log in with this account and when your computer loads up, you're going to notice that you do have two roles installed, the Active Directory Domain Services and the DNS Server, and I'm on SRV2. If I close this, the wonderful thing about this is the fact that I do have the DNS role installed. I am running as a domain controller for the network, but if I go to the Active Directory Users and Computers, you're going to notice the fact that if I expand my domain and I go to Domain Controllers, you can see now that I've got both computers or domain controllers in my domain, and also all the users that I made from previous videos have all been synchronized with this server anything that was on the primary server will now be loaded onto the backup server and any changes I make here will actually be made on the primary as well so they actually synchronize back and forth between so that if one of the servers were to crash the other server can be a fully functional domain controller and the domain can actually still keep going within the network. So this concludes the video on setting up a backup domain controller within Server 2008 Release 2.